Well, fingers crossed, but hopefully we're now alive. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're the one who will get the email here, not me. <laughs> that was a thick necklace chain, I gotta say. Mm. I'll hold that J.O. crystal. I you know, it's got to be sturdy, but it's got to hold a crystal on it. Tweet has been tweeted. <gasps> tweeted. <laughs> Crystal, yeah. Can you That's see the chat? Enough. Is it working for you today? Yes, it is. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I could kind of tell it was okay because it was actually telling me about hosting Doc and no longer hosting and all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, back to Final Fantasy 1. Final Fantasy Origins. Mm-hmm. Wolverine Origins. Well, Origins is what it was called in the PS1. Mmm. Yeah, one and two came as Origins, and four and five came as Anthology. I cannot possibly take anything that calls it that uses the word Origins as a subtitle seriously. <laughs> There's not a single thing in my life. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. And hi, Jordan. Hello. Sheet and everyone. Hello. As it rolls around to see the dragon again. To the Squark Canucks. Hmm. So I probably just Let's load up the game. All right. So we're outside the ice cave. Yep. Yes. <laughs> That's a total lie right there. Um. <laughs> yeah. Last time we got the canoe. Mm-hmm. We also killed some fiends of earth and fire or something. Yeah, we did. We went and fed a golem. We got killed fiend of earth. Shouldn't be the wrong stream game, as far as I know. Hmm. It could be. I don't care. I just, <laughs> just put Final <laughs> Fantasy 1, whatever. Yeah. It's Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy 1. 1 and 2, Don it. 1 and 2, Donna Souls. That's what this is. No, this is Final Fantasy 1 for the PSP. <laughs> but whatever. I'm not all that fussed about making sure it's the right version of FF1. Same basic shit. Mmm. So yeah, we're continuing the adventures of Jane and Carl, and uh, we have Bill and Katie with us again. Yeah, they were out for, out here for a camping trip, so we figured mm. they'd just. Well, you see, Steve up. was a little bit worried uh, in his outfit that his pecs would sort of freeze off. <laughs> so uh, he and Maria went off to get some clothes. <laughs> we met up Bill and Katie, so I, we have a chufty uh... guy now. Yep. Some good magic. Jane and Carl are already dressed warmly enough for this. Yeah, they're so... robes. Thick winter robes. They're fine. Look at them. <laughs> they won't mind. they weren't completely toasty in the uh, fire. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, I suppose let's... Uh... I assume you have a guide. Yep. I'm not sure why it's Matoya's cave music in this cave. But... Yeah, that's that's the way it is in all the versions. I guess they just needed something to play here. Uh, there's nothing interesting on this floor. Alright. We're for monsters. Ooh, some ugly mummies. I was like, did I remember to buy some golden needles, but I think I have stone us. I think I'm fine. Yes, <laughs> I do. I'm a-okay. You're fine as long as Jane doesn't get stoned. I'm fine. 
Ah, they're talking about FF5 on the PS1. Oh, I had ridiculous load times. It was still... I mean, I still loved that version of the game, because it was my first version of the game. Um... But the translation was bad, and the loading times were, uh... Atrocious? They were a thing. I'm gonna turn up the volume a tad. Mm-hmm. I have no idea that made a difference. <laughs> Yeah, MP is just better for all-around spell usability. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hello, Pisco Demons. Yeah, the game sort of just starts throwing Pisco Demons at you, like, at random, more or less. And they're they're always an annoying enough encounter, you know. Mm -hmm. You're you're lucky that they're mostly hit and bill here. Hell yeah. But it basically takes until this point in the game where you actually don't see, where you're actually not like terrified of them. So we said Steve was our monk, but uh, as we said, he was a little bit worried about this cave being a little bit too cold for him. So now yeah. we have Bill. Yep. Um, no, MP was introduced in the Game Boy Advance version. Which was Donna Souls. Which was Donna Souls. Um, Origins, the PS1 version, still had magic level uses. Am I going down the stairs? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, that head, down, head down the stairs you eventually reach, is what it says. <laughs> uh, head to the southwest corner and downstairs. So, nothing nothing all that interesting around here. I think it's just gonna be a big square room. Alright. As the police come for me, I might mute my mic real quick. How dare you, sir. Let's kill some specters. They look so jolly. Hmm. Like, they're just having a real fun time in they this are. ice cave. They're hanging out in their little wraith group. Yes, we're doing, we're doing stream crimes. Which are coming against. <laughs> oh shit, they actually lived through a Dia. Ah, alright. Let's try that again. Take two. Murder Boogaloo. Slash slash. I might have to actually upgrade to Diara. You might actually have to use the bigger magic. Mm -hmm. Bring the bigger boat. Oh, they can't equip it. What is it? Crocier. Ah. Hey, there, well, there oh. it was. Yep. Yeah. So, is that? Oh, that looks like a monk weapon. Oh, yeah, I think that'll be like a monk and various others will be able to use that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, mm hmm. Monk, warrior. That's strange. All, all right. these classes you see, all these classes you don't have. Mm hmm. Classes. Or have better options for. Oh goodness, I was ambushed by the specters this time. <laughs> Never a family you want to ambush, yeah? Hmm. Oh, he doesn't have Fira. He doesn't have Fira. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, my black mage does. It's just not my red mage. Ah, okay. Red Mage is so limited by the fact there are eight spells for every level. Yeah. I mean, I guess you're in a slightly better position just in that you have the Black Mage and the White Mage, so you're not really missing out on them, but at the same time, yeah. You, you do have to make those sorts of decisions with Black Mage. Of course the Black Mage has Fira. Well, uh, she has Firaga, but it's a bit more MP than what I use. It's a bit much. Alright. Think you can figure this one out? Nope. Through this the doorway. It's very linear. Uh oh, dark wizards. Ugh. Yeah, wow, those are mini are, Astoses. Are they undead? No clue. I don't think Astos was. You could always deer them if you don't want to, like, you know, have any skin in the game. 
Jane only has 264 magic left. <laughs> it's not very much. There you go, not undead. Not undead, but they very do booby, still burn though. good. Fire magic's still good. At like 4,000 gil, that is a lot of gil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Bill will have some shiny armor to buy soon. Oh, probably. I did buy the 36,000, uh, <laughs> knight armor. Yes, yeah, so intelligence was fixed in the PS1 version. The PS1 yeah. version fixed a lot of bugs and things, spells and stuff that didn't work as intended in the original release. Right. And then I think the GBA fixed them. Um, so you will fall through the cracks in the floor. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one. I did a you. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll have to go back for those. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm good at video games. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh, these guys are chuffy, jeez. Yeah, this is final fancy. Final <laughs> Put like three apostrophes in there. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, spikes. Spikes all around me. Main portion, head west across the spiky ice. As that, as that white is strutting at you. Mm-hmm. Look at him, he's strutting his stuff. I, I do love these, like, just detailed enough sprites that there's a lot of, like, weirdness to them in a good way. Yeah, they're really funky, like the, the smug chart. No. Yeah. See, I kind of had to make choices at, like, Aura time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Of course, Red Mage can't use all the spells. Alright. Yep. Let's get stabbed. It's only, like, one damage a step, I think. <laughs> Oof, ow, ooh, ah, ee, ah. Encounter square, and hey, hey, Pauline. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's a Dargan. <laughs> uh, hello. Enjoy your Dargan. God. Bill! Uh, My fascinated man. box. Yes, it is. Like, if you want to get technical, the or you, you do have to get the Earth Crystal first, um, because that unlocks you being able to get the canoe, which is required for, like, basically everything else. That's sort of a critical path thing, but technically you can do the other three crystals in any order. <laughs> gotta fight that dark. Oh my god. You gotta fight two Dargans now. Uh. Well, you went and got some friends. There could be only one of them on screen, but there were actually three of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that fight is fun. Yeah, let's go. I was going to say that was not too bad, but uh, <laughs> 80, 80 damage to Katie there is actually quite rough. Yep. And yeah, it's the blue eyes white dragon. More of a white eyes blue dragon. I don't make up the names, buddy. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of gil, which is good, because I'm going to start getting the really expensive spells. Yep, spells and armor are like the only thing you see actually spend money on in this game. South, I believe. I know, but I, I have reached a point where I'm getting so much money that I'm not out of money anymore, so... so. Mm -hmm. Which south? Uh, east. And then keep going south. Sorry, let me see. Let, let me start this back from the top there, just to give you some context here. Exit that room and backtrack to the first room's entrance, which is basically the area with the three spikes. Mm -hmm. Go south and east from there. Continue going south and past the western spiked ice to reach an east-west intersection. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm guessing that's this then. I think that's that. Okay, where am I going from here? Um, we are going west from here. There we go. God, I didn't realize there were that many splits the way that that was written. Because like, <laughs> the the go west along the path into a room that's that we're doing right now is actually a separate paragraph. Oh. All right. Which is just spaced weird for the way that we're navigating this, you know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! I was kind of hoping to kill, like, anything here. Uh-oh! Yeah, this is such a jaunty cave for these creepy dark wizards <laughs> and whites and shit. As they aga me, oh fuck. As they fuck. Firaga you. Oh fuck! It's fine, oh, that one decided God, to slash only one of them did it. instead of casting arcane magic. Oh, let's face it, I jeered in all gamifications from, like, the 2000s or like this. They're, they're all... Yep. <laughs> they're, they're all written thing. by high schoolers who uh, haven't quite learned to write anything yet. Mm -hmm. And we understand them for it, but... Mm -hmm. Yes, they couldn't make that, so... Ice Gigas and a Winter Wolf never escape wolves. I feel like it's disingenuous to call it a Winter Wolf if it lives in a cave. It's an ice cave. I mean, I imagine it lives in this cave year-round. Still an ice I'm, cave. I'm just saying. Yeah, but he's not an ice wolf. He's a winter wolf. Ice is associated with winter. I'm gonna give it. <laughs> Maybe they, they hibernate all the other three, like, seasons. So look how much money you end up getting. So, jets. about that gill you were talking shit. about. Fucking hell. Woo. I'm counter scar. Hello. Oh, it's wolves. I'm not okay. actually sure. That might have just been a random encounter. Yeah, uh, wolves, I'm guessing so, yeah. Granted, yeah, this doesn't mention encounter have, squares. Uh, I don't have fear of. <laughs> oh, goodness, this can hurt. Yeah, damn. The, a six wolf encounter that involves magic actually seems kind of terrifying. Yep. <laughs> come on, Black Mage, come on. I did find the dragon's treasure. A very oddly specific uh, amounts of cash. <laughs> I feel that was just a thing in old RPGs. 180. They couldn't just give you a definite amount of gill there. I guess they're very much like me, because I absolutely do that shit with numbers. Whereas I like round numbers. I'm a very like fives and tens kind of person. Didn't you ask me why I always set numbers on the microwave to, like, yeah, 113 really and shit like that? you set really weird numbers on the microwave. It's strange. My alarms are all set for, like, 8.59 and shit. Yes, and, like, eight minutes pass. I'm like, what is that about? You're weird. <laughs> mine are always Odd numbers set... are even better. No, mine are always set, you know, sensible, like, quarter past or half past or the you hour. You set them at weird times. I just have a love of prime numbers. Um, let me see. Back to the other intersection, go along the eastern branch, and there should be a staircase. That one. Where are we going to get back to the chest site? Sort of. I mean, there there was a, a crystal there that we were meant to go. Um, let's see, there's an ether in that chest. Leave the room, and then circle around to the south. Yeah, the here? chest, I think, goes over ah. there. Yeah, if you had gone down there, the game would have punked you. Um, southeast from here and around the wall. So, yeah, see, I think it's I, really, I, I think I do want to get those, like, chests that I sort of fucked up. There's one that's, well, like, a fire we, sword. But... We will be going to them. Oh, we're we going back? Okay. As far, I mean, that that room is where you actually want to be. Like, yeah. that's that's the end of the ice cave. Uh, it's just you couldn't okay. actually interact with the thing that was in the middle because of the cracked tiles. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I think you should be able to get it from there, but if it just warps this out of the dungeon, it's southeast. Right, we'll uh, but if it just warps this out of the dungeon, then that's like the first place to go, basically. <laughs> you did it again. Congratulations. Okay, yeah, we may need to like revisit large parts of this dungeon then. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> the best part is after you get the uh, after you do the special fight that just happened there, you'll actually have to wrap around again. So you probably should have just done the boss fight there. Never. <laughs> wow, that wasn't very strong. That makes sucks. I don't think they're good until you get it, but wow, they just do not have the power to shoot anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get used to the black, the black mage damage and the white mage healing, and, you know, damage from the other classes that do damage. Yes, this is the PSP version. They end up in this awkward middle ground kind of thing. I'm getting some levels, that's what, what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah level. level, levels, and money, that's what I did. <laughs> of course. Oh! Hey! Ah, we finally found the Mind Flayer. It's I forgot that it now flare. just shows up. I forgot that it shows up in this specific dungeon as a random encounter. <laughs> a copyright infringer. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yeah, I mean the thing that actually makes Pisca Demons dangerous is that you fight four of them and they do like 80 damage per shot. So. Yep. I'm sure Mind Flayer would be dangerous, but not if he dies instantly. <laughs> I didn't like quite as many ethers as you, but I thought... Mm. I mean, what the fuck else am I gonna spend money on? Right? Even I was left over like 20, 20,000. Yeah. Like, I've bought everything! Honk, honk. Now we're just getting all the mind flares. And down they go. He apparently switched into last place there. Honestly, most one enemy encounters just aren't as dangerous in this game. God, you walked straight into the one hole of the ground. <laughs> I walked just straight into the one hole. I didn't even one see hole. it. One hole. I didn't see it. <laughs> I'm gonna go north and see if there's like a staircase up or something. I believe the staircase up is on the other side of the room. Yeah. Um, but like basically the room that has the chests and the hole you fell in. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a staircase up over there. Yeah, this will probably connect to it as well. Um, we. Oh. No, that kind of makes things convenient. <laughs> that, we that were was already going to do this thing. All yeah, right. apparently <laughs> that was an exit. I didn't know that was a thing. All right. Yeah, it's just that oh, completely just random, here. untouched place there. You know what, I'm gonna go out with tent. That seems reasonable, considering. <laughs> just remember this time, the first time you fall in a hole, make sure you get the chests. I'll try. I mean, we were kind of gonna do this anyway to get that flame sword. Because mm -hmm. that would have been our only option, I believe. To go get it. Spent 20 minutes and we've accomplished nothing. We opened some chests. I think we were hoisted by two holes here, actually. <laughs> a lot of money. Run, 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 run. Look at him go. Oh, he's small. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's face it, we're very similar. We just sort of run into situations head first. We like to keep things moving. <laughs> Perfectly defensible. Uh-huh. I can't just make fun of you for it anymore, because I do it. Exactly. Hi. Ooh, wow. Our largest Piscodemon fight yet. That is a lot of Piscodemons. Let's hope they all punch Bill. Mm-hmm. With their wacky open hand thing. 
Yeah. They got like some real articulation in those fingers. Doing some real wiggling. Like I need the money and I need the levels. Clearly. Spells are gonna start costing like thirty or forty thousand gil. <laughs> And you have three classes that can use several of them. Yep. You know, if you hold the run button, you won't run. Uh, what? At least that's how it works in the GBA version. I don't know if it's like that in this one. I don't even know what the run button is. Probably B. Or, the, you know, the equivalent of B. The B-equivalent. Circle doesn't seem to stop it. No. Uh, oh well. Guess you're running that speed forever. Yep. Try not to run into the hole here. Well, he's got a preemptive strike, so rip these wizards. Rip. Congrats on your ah, clothes. Clothes! Finally, the thing that I needed. Who doesn't love clothes? Everyone's favorite starting equipment. They're actually really difficult to see when you're running, which is why I ran straight. Yep. Alright, okay, this there is handy. Because I'm Hello, an ice sword. Who? It's slightly less powerful, but it is a flame sword, so right, I just fall. Yeah, uh, I mean, now basically you go through the hole that you fell through the first time, or the, the second time. Mm-hmm. Alright, work my way back. Work my way back. And then talk to that crystal. Mm -hmm. you have a lovely chat with it. Fighting evil eye. I mean, where else would you keep your flame sword? Just in case you need it. Well, there was an ice sword in the fire cave, which seems less plausible. That's, yeah. At least we're getting real good at navigating this specific path as we get ambushed by white dragons. Mm -hmm. What is it with animes and making white dra blue dragons named white dragon? Oh fuck, Carl's dead. Rip Carl, Carl is dead as shit. He never scored. On the plus side, Bill is now a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. Hey. Way. Well, the good news is I do have life. Yeah, if anything, I, th I think the pair of khakis and the print t-shirt in the ice cave are weirder than the, than the fire sword. <laughs> <laughs> Who put those there? Entrepreneur. Uh, That's a good I, question, what's I have to imagine treasure chests were a thing in D&D, &D, right? Yeah, like loot type mm. systems or something. Mm -hmm. It's either that or gonna be like some specific spin-off of it did it, and then it kind of just became the standard or something like that. I could believe either of those things. Yeah. The well, yeah, enough. I get the concept of a pirate of a treasure chest is from, you know, like, buried treasure pirates, all that sort of thing. But, like, the fact that it's so ubiquitous in video games yeah. as a thing is kind of weird if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's a very specifically video gamey concept. That I imagine is also a thing in, like, tabletop. Alright, I have to be careful because I need to get these chests. Yes, just move to the left a little bit. <laughs> also, oh shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally everything is D&D's fault when it comes down to it. Yeah. Carl doing the no 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 finger. Just like fingers crossed praying here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Every time I get in a fight with cockatrices, I hold my breath. Cockatrice. The pro of cockatrice is probably cockatrice. Yeah, I, I have to imagine that a lot of sort of especially fantasy uh, game conventions are from D and D. Mm-hmm. Hey, these pisco demons. Goodbye, these pisco demons. <laughs> Well, at least Carl went first, so that they uh, only a few of them got punches in. Because, of course, speed means nothing in this game. To, to the left. There's just one square, and you walked into it. <laughs> you thought six was a thing. Well... Well... Meet seven. What if we threw seven squid men at you? Baloney amputation, that's a fact I wish I didn't know now. <laughs> more money. Sleeping bag. And shield, which only Mill could equip. <laughs> Alive with the power of nice. Mm, nice. So yeah, this is a boss fight, by the way. Yep, which is why I'm healing up. I can give you tips, or you can sort of just come into it. You'll probably win without too much trouble. Hello. Hello there! Uh, east. <laughs> this is one he... may potentially give this party trouble. Is he undead or not? I have no idea. It lists none in weaknesses and resistances. I don't know if that, like, implies it or not. Alright, let's go. Nice. <laughs> so the thing about this guy is that he can cast a party-wide silence. Alright. So if that happens, you might be in some trouble, but also he has 162 health, so it might not be. Huh? <laughs> So, you obtained the Levistone. Well, hey! Can't we get it, you vape? <clears throat> do. Just call me the Vape Eye. I couldn't get any, like, the exit or anything spells, so... Yeah, no, those are apparently, like, wizard spells and shit. Yeah, like, only wizards could have them. Which you know, is all weird. The guys are like, buy teleport and use it to exit <laughs> the cave. It's like, do I do that? <laughs> But yeah, the door you accidentally went out is the easiest exit. Yep, I'm heading back there. Might as well just blow shit up. Yep. Hmm, yeah, Dragon Warrior would have a lot of need to use that. Carl blew shit up. I feel like we've seen this uh, bit of the cave a lot. A, f a few times, yes. <laughs> Partly because of holes. Mm-hmm. A novel. That's a good novel. I've never actually beaten a Dragon Quest game. I've beaten one. It took a year. <laughs> That's the only one I've even played. Yeah. God, I love that there's all these super magical looking enemies and half the time they just punch you in the face. Yep. Well, it works, you know? Don't knock it. I can see why this cave could be a problem doing it before the uh, fire. Yeah. Without a few the extra levels in The enemies are too rough you. for me, but like... They certainly could be, especially since, like, Pisca Demons are sort of a low-level encounter I in here. I certainly am, uh, blowing up my magic usage. Like, on a super low-level run, the, the 6 and 7 Pisca Demon stuff is basically a, uh... Ooh, Mind Blast. <laughs> that is oh, a well. spell that carries on. It's in mm. 5. Yep. Oh, Carl. 
Carl, Carl, Carl. A little late on the mega spell, but we'll take it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Dragon Quest games are are too old for me. Not like all the recent ones. They're, they're just too old. The whole saving in mm -hmm. churches, the amount of grind you have to do because you get no money or experience from anything. Mm -hmm. They they haven't caught up with like. New conventions. Plus, every single Dragon Quest has the Scottish town and the Russian <laughs> town. And it's kind of annoying. Oh, well, look, I'm in the town where everyone speaks with a terrible Scottish accent. <laughs> Hooray! The town, of, uh, the town named Personal Affront. See, I didn't play the, the 3DS version of Dragon Quest VIII. I played and completed the PS2 version of that game over the course of a year. So Dragon Quest is one of those games that's like super popular in Japan, mm -hmm. so it is kind of just always stuck to its formula. Yeah, which is fair. Like, yeah, it's still it, popular. People like it. Still it buy works. It. It's just not my cup of tea. Yeah. I was always more in the Final Fantasy, which learned a lot of lessons and tried new things in each game. Yep. That's more my speed, I like that shit. Yeah, like for all you could say about Final Fantasy VII, it is pretty wild that we're that you can that you eventually go in the same series from this game here that's like the straightest fantasy possible to mm -hmm. the like terrorists fighting against a mega corporation of Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. And all the other various places it's gone. Alright, where am I headed? Uh, back to your ship. Alright. Although you can check your world map real quick. Um, and I believe where you want to go is that desert on the south end of the continent. I could be wrong about that, but we'll see. That? Uh, yeah, that little knob of desert there. Take it out to park there. Um... Well, I mean, you can actually get off the ship at the canoe. Oh, right, yeah, I can actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I you should. I think that's what you have to do. Alright. Yeah, I think you gotta do it like that. Damn, the Neo Chew looks like it's power stancing on you. It is. It's a tough bro. Yeah, Shy, that definitely sounds like it had a lot of uh, ease of use things. It's like how I, it's like how I kind of want to replay Final Fantasy VII at some point, but if I do it, I'll do it on the PS4 because you can fast forward that, and that seems like that would make it so much better. <laughs> I think I'll probably pop back to town. Yeah, I mean it's on the way, so. Or is it not for you? I mean, it is, but... Sort oh, of I didn't realize you could... Right, it, it parks this shit there, because those are actually mutually not the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Dragon Quest games for me are just not... Your cup of tea? No, I never really liked the story part of them. Mm -hmm. um, and I've always liked story in games, although I know I like JRPG stories. I mean, I understand the judgment people give you for that one. Mm -hmm. um, and the characters were always mute. Yeah, I've never been big on that. Yeah, is that Not where that your ship is? He's, he's down. Check the world map real quick. Well, when I'm out of the battle. Just to be safe. And, we're sh and our ship was never heard from again. <laughs> yeah, Dragon Quest games, you've never had enough money to buy anything. Uh, world map, world map. 
Oh god, I was supposed to get off to the north? Nah. I, I think it's that spot to your right. Like the place you almost got off before. Oh, so I, I do have to get right. Mm -hmm. Possibly, I'm not 100% on this. And I have to, yes, this is it, and I have to get off and land instead of out in the ocean. Yep, mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. It was only Jessica, that was eight. Yeah, eight was like, not the first one in the US, but definitely one of the bigger ones in the US. Mm. So I think a lot of people, myself included, uh, experienced the franchise through eight. Definitely wasn't my first things. So I own quite a lot of them, and ain't the only mm. one I've ever beaten. Right. Uh... Oh man, we might never fight a buccaneer again. I love buccaneers. Well, too bad. There's no like Omega weapon hat in the sky when we get the airship. I'll just nope. There are no random encounters in the airship. In fact, you don't you don't even have to pop into town here. Um, we're not actually good. You you'll be able to pop into town after you get the airship and there's All no right. fights. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. There's no like fight and stuff. Basically, the fight and stuff happened in the ice cave. All right. So yeah, there should be a river if you follow along the coast that you can get on. Yeah, that'll be the one. And then down and into that desert. Mhm. Mm and by the way, you're sort of you. you're sort of supposed to just wander into this desert. I don't know. I, I think there's like an NPC in some town that will mention an airship oh, buried in the desert. Oh, probably. There's NPCs in every but town. But you kind of are meant to just wander into this desert area. And in the game's defense, I actually did do that the first time I played the game. You know, like without a guide or anything. I could not tell you why or how, but I do remember just sort of finding it. Pretty soon after I left the ice cave. <laughs> yeah, if you go on the left there, then you'll, you'll be good. Ooh. Oh, it's time to abandon my boat! Are we just like fucking finding an airship? Is that like every I've game is just my boat. an airship somewhere? Yeah, no one else is using it. It was buried in the, under the sand. <laughs> so we might as well. And the airship at five was under the sea. Under the sea. Poison's such a weird status effect in a lot of games. Yeah. It's either like completely trivial or the worst shit in the world. <laughs> Then you have Breath of the Fire 2, where it doesn't do anything in battle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just hurts you outside of battle. Way, we got an airship, let's raise our hands! High five, guys, high five. Don't leave us hanging. <laughs> so, there's your airship. Alright, open up your world map. Never! Or I guess you could also just go to town, because um, I was going to tell you where to go next. Alright, we're to town. Oh yeah, you can only land the airship on, like, strips of, I like, green really grass. I wasn't really trying to land on the town. Yeah, well, that, that's a land. common airship problem, because mm -hmm. they always have ridiculously fast movement. It happens in fucking five all the time. Um, but you'll, you'll find this airship very restrictive as far as stuff it can land on. Like, it can't land on marsh squares, I believe. Yeah, uh, only, like, good grassy squares. Ah, uh, you know, some games you get an airship from someone else. Most games you just find them. Mm-hmm. Buy some items, why not? I have monies. Yeah, we did probably just blow up a building with our airship. Mm -hmm. Why not, right? <laughs> Anything else to buy in town? So yeah, if you have all the magic, all magic you want, then you might as well just uh, pop in. So, if you want to get some gear, um, check your world map. Let's see. Let's see. Um, if you go straight south from here, you'll apparently run into a town. Oh. 
I think it's that one. It should be completely surrounded by mountains, so I guess we'll see. Luckily, the airship is really heckin' Hello. quick. That should be it. Gaia. Eye of the Hawk, Wing of the Hawk. Y'all are really into some progressive rock albums. Yeah. I mean, I don't know the levels. Now, I believe that Blizzaga is, like, the only spell here that any of your people can even learn. I, like, I, all I, the other I stuff is I am level 33, down. I am level 29. Yeah. I cannot learn any spells. Yep. But we'll have a look at them. Yeah, these are white wizards. There's the Yodges. You can see how expensive the shit is. I'm gonna run out yep. of money when mm -hmm. we class up. Although I probably won't. <laughs> yeah, with let's the, be real. With the amount of money I'm gonna get getting the class up. See a lot of people to talk to here. Cast to the west, the place to test your courage. Very living at the spring. I don't, I don't believe, believe it! it. Well, yeah, chuck my shell. Oh, there's the inn. It's a real fancy inn for a place oh, surrounded go. by mountains. Out, out, out the way, head. Ah! Out the way. Body blocked! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's money. Ooh. It's, it's money, alright. <laughs> yeah, fuck even buying spells. Now you're just straight up, like, into the, into the equipment extortion scheme. The sleeping bag field sprite in this game is absolutely fabulous, and I love it. Yep. We, we have showed off the worm before. Our wonderful cocoon. Yeah, throw away that six gill shield. Mm -hmm. I'm just selling whatever shit I have. <sighs> we'll see what's on sale for the weapons first before I spend all my money. Ah, something I can't use. Yep. <laughs> yep. Spend all my money. No, oh, we're so rich. Not no more. <laughs> wow, you finally have 33 defense. Mm -hmm. Y'all are practically tanks now. Yep. Especially compared to Bill 60. Oh, I'm so close to the one. <laughs> I am gonna. Oh my god. She has yep. so much HP. Yep. The mage tanks. Or as I like to call them, the chanseys. This town is very big. Rather, it's weird that you find a town this late in the game that's like so large and spread Huge. out. Fenian language, ooh. Hmm, a scholar. Hmm. I'm actually like afraid to go places because I'm gonna end up exiting right? all the time. <laughs> A bit so mean what? If you do. Hey, church. Can't tell me what the fuck to do. I'm a pirate. Mm -hmm. I believe this is the way to the spring. Yeah, that the ferry is in. So if we ever happen to find a caravan with a ferry in it, mm -hmm. then uh, then we'll know where to bring that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one will not tell you about your map menu. Nope. Ah, ah, great. There we go, the other one. Yeah, this doesn't just have the level 7 spells. Yeah, it, it has also some has level the 8 spells. Not all the level 7 spells, and not all the level 8 spells either. Yep. Yeah, um, I get a class up, I'm not going to be able to afford any of that shit. 
Of course not. You probably won't be able to cast him either. No. No, I won't <laughs> be high enough matter. level. Yeah. Um, so, now, look at your world map. Never! You see all those islands to your west that have a ton of entrances to them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We want to go to one of those. Yeah. I don't know which. You go south from here, maybe? You might want to check the map to see if you went too far. Yeah, well, just a sec. Ah, yes, a fear van. There we go. Those creepy puckered holes and there. The top ones, so. Yeah, I don't remember which of these is the one we actually want to go into. They're all, they all lead to the dragon caves. They're just various different ones. So technically you don't have to do this part, but I figured we'd just show it off in the order that you're sort of supposed to do it. Oh, is this not the thing that gets you the class up? This is, well, this is the place that gets you the class up, but what's going to happen is you're going to talk to uh, a character and they'll be like, go get me this thing. Um, and that's the thing that you have to do. And like, you can go get the thing first, that you, no one has to tell you for you to be able to do it, but I figure it, we might as well show off, like, you know, the way that you're supposed to know to go to that place. Okay. And yeah, there's treasure in some of these, so. You'll actually notice that, like, the difficulty of the enemies on the world map really levels out. Mm -hmm. Don't mind us, just robbing some dragons. It's cool, nothing, right, yo? Nothing weird going on around here. For the chill cave music. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, buddy. He's just having a chat with you. Hey, you mean? Yes, it is. I need this money. I could go buy another, uh... <laughs> armlet. One more armlet. I think that's it for this game. Yep. Yeah, they're all relatively small. That's why there's so many of them. God, I don't like the sprite they use for those holes. <laughs> <laughs> Does it remind you of something? I can't imagine what you're insinuating. Nothing in this hole. Nope, just a dragon to talk to, have a lovely chat with. Yeah, ah. so you can't land on that marshland type stuff can't for whatever land on reason. This. Yep. There we go. Yep. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Uh oh, you oh, made shit. a mistake. Oh shit. This is the bonus dungeon. Shit, can I get out? Um, <laughs> feel like you can only go forward in these things until you make a certain, until you get to a certain point. Whoops! <laughs> I didn't realize it was like as soon as you warp through the door. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> find find the bonus dungeon guide. Get there. I did save like three minutes ago. You could I'm... just reload that instead. I might do. That might be a good idea, honestly. Like, we definitely just want to get through the side quest thing. Mm. 
Or the class there change go. thing. I was like trying to remember how to set a self reset. Yeah, saved right beside this cave, it's fine. Yeah, so basically the uh, way that those caves are is that that was blocked off by the by a statue of the fire yeah, lady, the fire but then one, it, yeah. she disappeared. I sort of went right through the door, not realizing you get warped. So yep. she go through that fucking door. Yep. Whoops. Oops. Whoops. Yeah, there was nothing in the second cave you went no, into. No, I didn't have anything. That first one is, uh... <laughs> the bad one. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello! You guys are new! motherfuckers. With your fucking stripes and shit. I like big and scary. I got them right though, they are worms, because they don't have arms. Yep. Wild gang of stripey boys. <laughs> A long, long time ago. Hey buddy. You say so. As I rub you blind right in front of you. We do have love of cottages, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoop. Bahamut. Yep. This is uh, Bahamut's very first One appearance of the in the series. One of the only things that's in like every Final Fantasy game. Yep. Bahamut. Uh, it's just the classification. It's a dragon if it has four limbs. It's a worm if it has two. Mm-hmm. I know my mythological creatures. Damn it. Your Dargons. Mm -hmm. I would hope so, considering your name. I don't know if you can land there, actually, which is weird, I know. Uh, yeah, there's one there, and there's two. These are the two yeah, there, so. I don't. I, it might actually be the leftmost one that is the uh, one with Bahamut in it, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Given that we're getting items anyway, there's no real reason not to. Ah, you may have actually have found it. There's a lot going on here, I gotta say. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bahamut. Stop. Hey, buddy. So he wants a rat's tail, does he? So he wants a rat's tail, which is sort of weird as a token of courage, but hey, who am I to I stop I don't know, him? man. Rats are scary. Scalping a computer programmer from the 90s doesn't seem that dangerous, but... <laughs> if it's what he wants... Let's rob the rest of these dragons. Oh, of course. Ah, that's where we have to go, right? The Citadel of Right, Kyles. yep. Okay, so the dragons will, in fact, tell you where the fuck to go, eventually. As long as you do the right one. Oh, apparently we have to not let its appearance deceive us. Which, yeah, seems fair. Mm -hmm. Alright, one more hole. Yep. It was There's worth holes. it for the tent. I do have a spine. Well, you didn't attack me. If you did, I would have fought you. Yeah, he just wants a he wants a rad tail, not a rat's tail. <laughs> a dry ether. Take my ethers dry. I have to imagine that some of these were added in. Like, ex, um, ex potions. Not totally sure, honestly. So, you know, Phoenix Downs weren't a thing. Mm hmm. Um, an ex potion's such a recent one. Mm hmm. Surely they must have changed some of these item names to get in line. Quite possibly. Alright, where's the Citadel of Trials, buddy? Um, let's see... I believe it is that, uh, directly to the east of the set of caves, like that part on the peninsula. Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, partly original life of one had like uh, no, I think you just no went items. So past it. you you went way past it. Whee. It's still still. Ah. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Pretty sure that's it. You'll have yeah, you'll have to like land far away and walk to it, which is actually a thing the game does to you a bunch. Can I land in war. No. Nope. Uh, you might be able to land on the edge of that lake though. Maybe nope. not. A little nope. further up, then. I have this to land, point. like, really far away, huh? Figuring out where you can land your damn airship is actually a bit of a trial in and of itself. <laughs> you can always go get your boat. You land there. God knows how long you'd have to wander to... Oh god, that's what I have to do, isn't it? I don't... I don't know if that is. Hmm. Like, it honestly seems to be like the only thing? place I can land, or there. Um, if you go back and get your land. regular boat, if you go back and get your regular boat, you can sail up to the uh, river. It's to your left. Sure, I can get that bothered. Kind of up to you, I guess. Either way, I'm gonna have to like. Go get the boat, sail over, fight things. That's true. Fight a billion things over there, and then go sail all the way back. over to you. Yeah, that's fair. It's gonna be a pain in the butt no matter what I do. Yep. Right, let's go. I need bunnies anyway. Yeah, I think you could go either of these directions, like landing on the northwest or landing on this one. Ooh, dinos! <laughs> The greatest foe the, the heroes of light have ever faced, parking... DINOS! And also dinosaurs. Alright, well, while you walk your way over there, I am going to go to the bathroom, so be right back. Yep. Good luck. Try not to die to a dinosaur. I really inconvenienced that dinosaur. <laughs> I just hope I remember where I parked it. You know, there wasn't any bays, no colors, no letters. <laughs> That's a were tiger, huh? Alright, if, if you say so, game. If you say so. He looks like he really needs to pee. It's like crossing his legs. He's like, oh my god, I really need to go, and these guys are interrupting me, and I really need to- He's doing the little dance. We're tiger, they're tiger. Further... Across the river... Oh, okay. Their castle. Look, I've got both a saber tooth and a lesser tiger, and some were tigers. Hello, hello. Look at these were tigers. Boy, those were tigers seem like they skipped leg day. I'm saying it looks like they crossed their legs because they really need to be. <laughs> Fair enough. Many tigers await you. Yeah, that's sort of the thing about Final Fantasy 1. You get the airship, and it's like, wow, the world is my oyster now, except then... You can barely land anywhere. You okay. can't land yes. anywhere. Ah, uh, yes, the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. With... <laughs> Sphinxes. <laughs> so it'll all be worth it to become wizards. Of course. Yeah, basically a full party of wizards. Mm -hmm. And Bill. I can't. I'll be able to go back and buy, like, teleport and exit. Um, yep. Which I've left room for. Yep. My red mage will. My red mage can actually buy. Probably level six spells now. Mm-hmm. I had to be level twenty-nine, so I wasn't high enough level before. Yep. 
I'll also yeah, that as well. Since but, uh, I can't, I'm not anywhere near the level to get level 7 of at any point. <laughs> yeah. Night Wizard! Yeah, he's gonna be a Night Wizard. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, so you need the crown to get in here? I guess so. Although I'm not sure it's possible to get here without the crown. Yeah, like, you have to get the crown to, like, get everything. And Jaws Arms, thank you! Thank you for the sub! Glad you're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. North and west, door in the corner, sit in the chair to warp. Here, exit the room. Boy, you are really sorry. I mean, I can't help you now. No, I went through a linear path. Well, I went through the um. Okay. Northwest door into a seat. It yep. warped me, and something just happened there. Someone followed us. Uh, Baloney Amputation, thank you for the follow. Thank you. And yeah, so I, I, I was following a linear teleport. Now I'm finally at a choice. Yeah, use the bottom one. Um, should be only one teleporter here. Let's see, southern one. Why did you say bottom one for one of them <laughs> and southern one for the other You're one? Bored. You didn't want to say bottom one again. God help you. Ooh, hello, Medusas. They're, they're, they're in the middle of Jake. Yeah, the dancing Medusa. I am absolutely interrupting their dance team, which is, feels kind of mean of me. Mmm. Because I totally should have tented outside. Oops. Interesting that they have boobs that point straight down. <laughs> At least I have, I have a bunch of ethers, so I'm fine. <laughs> we are totally baddies. I do like the music here. Hmm. It's definitely a remix um, of something else, though. Have you gone in a teleporter after the uh, the last choice you made? No, not yet. There we go. Okay, so that's the one. Alright, just making sure. Um, let's see. Eastern one. So if you go right here. You should be able to get to a chest. Yeah, okay, room with a chest. There we go. What a surprise that that was a battle. I know, what a shock, right? Ah, the Clolum. The Clolums. Flash, flash. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. But the night is just so fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically like the only tanky class and it still has really good DPS output. Yeah, it's tanks, but it also gets like the night swords which do ridiculous damage, so... Yeah. Yes, negative man's father. Oh god, that must be, uh... Oh. Night Ninja. Ah, it's had an upward class uh, it's one. Upgraded. Yeah, we were going to start putting Fun when you it only nice. work on special classes. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Ambushed by a bunch of mummies well, and their king. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for a little bit. I'm gonna take a nap. They've they've elected that mummy their king. <laughs> Shouldn't it be? And now queen? he's leading them. Oh, yeah, yes. get that Blizzard the out. mummy. It's mummy royalty. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Alright, south to find two teleporters. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Which one? Let's see. It says take the westernmost of them. Well, that uh, makes maybe go around. Zero sense. Maybe go around this <laughs> and down. Ah, yes, a zombator. All right, we 
any second week would be alright. I mean, I won't say no or yes, but... Ah, yes, yeah, they no were. Coppers. They used to burn the mummies for fuel, which a lot of people were outraged about, and I don't really care. I mean, I kind of get that. Oh, I guess it means this. Yeah. I guess they just forgot about that other one. I know, I'm not all that bothered about the bodies of people who have been dead for like hundreds if not thousands of years being used I feel for, like it's for a useful less... purpose, you know? I feel like it's less that and more that, you know, white people were the ones doing that. Oh well, yeah, we are terrible. Like, it's one thing if you're gonna dig up your own country's corpses. Also true. I feel like it's another thing entirely if you're, like, just going to another country and digging up their corpses. Yeah, it's a bit like, you know, building something on top of, a, say, a ruined temple mm -hmm. or a Native American uh, burial ground. It's, yeah. I guess it must mean this one? <laughs> God damn it. I guess we'll see. Nope, nope, we're back to the start. Okay. It must have meant those two teleporters now to choose the Yeah, first one. which it really could have been better Ooh, about. Right, oh, Shasta. hello. Also, really, really, really and, needed to pee. Yeah, that's like an even more fabulous tiger now. I like the cold, actually. Ding, ding. Such metallic sounds when they chomp on you. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, baloney amputation! <laughs> that space station would indeed be super doomed. <laughs> and the scientists who built their space station on top of a temple are really dumb. <laughs> Call for environmental station all <coughs> Wait, They're just sense. scientists. They didn't know any better. Yep, there we go. Because, yes, I think it must be where I have this choice. It has to be that one, yeah. Like, it didn't mention any of the other teleporters in the guide. Just says, leave the room and go south to find two teleporters. Take the westernmost of them. <laughs> oh, game if it use. Yeah, so I guess the, the two teleporters should have been the tell there. I just wasn't expecting two extraneous teleporters. Mm -hmm. Especially when there's another path, it's like the westernmost one, and that was the westernmost right. one. Yeah, exactly. Like, you couldn't just say the one on the left. Mm -hmm. No, no, your left. Ooh, it's a nightmare. Ah, Good <laughs> I see what you did there. Ah. It's now a that's night one crazy horse. Mare. Yeah, you should have taken the Weast teleporter. <laughs> oh man, some of these guys do get east and west mixed up. Um, mm -hmm. That was really annoying. Ooh, healing stuff. heal. Hmm. Weep, weep, weep. Does it heal when you bonk things with it, or just when you use it? I think just when you use it. Because if a five skill staff, you attack, you heal. Yeah. You should always fight, except Bonk him on the head with it's, heals. It's a good free heal. You, you attack yourself and you heal for nothing. But uh, yep. use it on your enemy. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like Bill believes in a thing called love. Mm. I know I do. Let me go west for some more chests.
bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Kind of feels like overkill. <laughs> it's fine. We're actually getting towards the end of this. The ice brand. Branded ice. Oh, God knows you can't another, buy a tray. I another ruby armlet as well. Free! Mm. Nice! Nice. And then you have got two then. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. No, you are not allowed to switch classes freely. Yeah, you pick classes at the start and that's that's it. Those are your classes. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Ah, yes, the ice well, brand. Well, like, we, we dumped Steve and Maria for Bill and Kitty. Yeah, they needed to go some get some warmer clothes before they, uh, mm -hmm. trekked into the ice cave. And Jane and Carl just got impatient. You know how it is. Yep. Me! Yeah! Thank you! <laughs> Here we go. I love rat towels in my rebounds per game. <laughs> <laughs> Same, though. She love or not be funny. I wonder if that's an encounter square. Hmm. Like just down there. <laughs> I have lots of kings, these mummies. Yep. Why would you mummify a normal person? That's true. No idea what you're talking about, Gail Boomer. We're, we're just having Jane and Carl's adventures. Yeah. Oh my, even, imagine you just Even went the wording to the, is so underwhelming. Imagine you just went to the throne without picking up that chest. Yep. You could do that. Dragon, yes. <laughs> It's like their tongues, right? Or they just like fucking belch. I think they're just. Oh, yeah, some like poison, whatever. That is super gross. Some grossness. That said, they burn real nice. Hmm. They're zombies. Yeah, we came here for a rat's tail. All this work for a rat's tail. The symbol of courage changes over the ages. I guess you can see what it reads. I'm, I don't actually know. Like in the key item menu. A token of valor and strength. Well, if you insist. If you say so. <laughs> Alright, let's go, uh... Go me Have a chat with the dragon. I don't think there's anything else here, and also well, that after guy I take a here. long walk, uh... Yeah, it's a long walk off a short pier. No, I'm in the forest. Close enough. It'll involve some canoeing as well. Yep. Tiny little bit of canoeing. As most good adventures do. The FF4, is that the remake, the DS version? So DS version had ridiculous um, things in it, in that uh, the DS version of the 4 added a whole bunch of spell stuff, and mm -hmm. you got drops from enemies, and one of them was like ridiculously tiny, like a 0.126% chance of stopping or something. God. I have no idea where I parked. Yeah. Figure it out. Thank you! <laughs> okay, team, we slept in the tent. Time to throw it away. That's how rebound the game works. <laughs> ah, so the, yeah, they added a bunch of, yeah, they added a bunch of rare items and the drop rate was ridiculously low. I actually never got so they... the rarest one after quite literal days of trying to grind it out. They took the super rare item that everyone hated and was like, how about we add more of that? Yeah, the, the drop rate was fucking ridiculous. It was a really rare encounter and the drop from it was very low itself, so... Uh, oh god. Oh yeah, that was it. It was a 1 in 64 uh, from a 1 in 64 encounter. 
Right. <laughs> Jesus. So it works out to like something like zero point something percent chance. Yeah. Two to the one over two to the sixteenth, which is just whoa. Mr. Dino. Oh, we must have parked it near here. There's an Allosaurus guarding it. Yeah, I, uh, for Forever 4DS, I did, like, actually get all of the uh, drops that got you shit. Apart from one, which is just super rare, and I couldn't fucking get it. <laughs> Alright, back to Bamute. Bamute. Uh, yeah, it's like we're a super armor and completely unnecessary. Maybe? Oh, no, it was that. It was that one. The right hand one. I think. Maybe. Find out. <laughs> I have no input on the matter because I've already forgotten. After this, I get to backtrack and uh, buy some spells. You know it. You love it. It spells. Very long corridor. Hey buddy, have a rat's tail. Men and women. And anything else. Yeah, I guess that rat's tail is fine. <laughs> I'll allow it. Class up. Class up, class up, class up. Oh good, then the translated version of FF4 they took the item that was meant to help you grind that uh, spell out. <laughs> That's kind of incredible. <laughs> mm. Or grind that pink tail out. Alright, look at us now. Looking fancy. And Carl right, has knight, some a white wizard, massive a red pants. Wizard and a black. And a pants wizard. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go buy some good shit. So uh, the funny thing about these class changes is that uh, your level growths and like you know, like your stat growths for these classes are actually better than your starting class. Yeah. Which means that the lower level you do that quest, the better your overall stats are going to become. Which is why it's a thing to do a low-level run of this game where... Uh, the thing is that uh, there is a max stat. Yeah. Like, and I think there's there's only a couple of classes where you really have to do them low-level or you cannot reach the max stats. Yes, it's mostly a matter of like how much you end up grinding, but... It is kind yeah, of funny Yeah, I've had to get up to like, like... level 90 odds to, to max my stats. Mm hmm It so is kind of funny that, like, there, up to this point... You, before you, max your stats. you can basically go through and just not ever do any of this stuff. You know, like, you can go through running from every single encounter that we fought outside of the fire cave, which you skip entirely. Alright, so... I'm gonna go here for some spells. Yeah, I think that level was the six, first place. which is that one. Um, and that's Crescent. Yeah, over there, so... Should be good. Yeah, level fives are in Melrond. Yep. There we go. So I can buy teleport. Right in the nook. So I can buy one for the red wizard. I can buy him life or a black magic spell. Probably buy him life. Or life. I think the others aren't terribly mm -hmm. important. Yeah. Okay, teleport on my black. Ready? Teleport. Teleport. And I'll get life from her enemy. She seems most useful. Uh, still Link. We actually did specifically check that baloney amputation. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here lies Link. 
Here lies Link. Oh, yeah. Alright. Do not go into that whirlpool that is in the dungeon. Although I can't access it yet, because I haven't Yeah, been luckily it's actually completely impossible from the airship. Do not land on top of town again. No. They're already oh, not Gargis. very happy with us. <laughs> eh. I don't care. Yeah, I'm, um, still not, I'm still not actually high enough level to buy any level 7, so after this I'll just go on to the next thing and hope I get levels and money. Does Knight get to cast white magic now? Yeah, actually, yeah, I think you're right. I believe um... so. If you look at the magic menu, let's see what levels Bill can learn. Yeah, there we go. That's level 3 currently, which is kind of useless, but you know. He also won't gain any MP until he gains levels. Yep. I might go pick uh, up. Were you gonna... Oh, right, buy spells. Duh, that was what I was in there for. Thank you. <laughs> I, do, I do that a lot, too. I press the wrong buttons and yep. forget why I went... And just completely forget any reason for ever being here. Mm-hmm. Went to the end and saved. That's what I wanted to do, right? Yep. Okay, exit. That's what I wanted. Ah, uh, yes. Get the fuck out. Okay, so I... Yeah, I gave her that, so I'm gonna give the red mage in Vizira. Oh, and I can actually only learn Thundaga. Okay. No. Uh. When I'm a white mage spell, then. Probably terror. I don't really need more than one exit. I love Katie's legs and lower body bouncing there for some reason. <laughs> Boing, boing, boing. Well, the, well, well, her top half just seems completely stationary. She's in her heels. She's bouncing on her heels. Uh, by the way, you can equip the gauntlets on Bill, can't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Protect ring is better, it yep. turns out. Um, by the way, you want... Apparently, you will need 40,000 gil, so... Um... When you go shopping in Gaia, you guess you can't actually do that. Oh, well, I shopping. can't actually buy anything in Gaia. Yeah. I'm not high enough level. Ah, okay. And I don't need a ruby armlet anymore. Uh, well, I you're still gonna... going to Gaia anyway. I am probably gonna stop over north. Uh, and buy some white magic for my knight. That's adorable, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you Bill. can't even cast that. Yeah. With your no. zero MP. He attack, but also he protect. He protect. Protera, um... Yeah, what do they normally... Is it just protect? Protect? They normally call... Just protect, and then there's normally a uh, protect all spell. Mega protect. Like shell, shell rust normally a thing, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, usually it's Gaia, yeah. Which kind of makes sense when there's only two versions. You're, you're going back to Gaia, by the way. <laughs> if you just go down, I think you'll be good. Uh, level 3 is the most he can learn, so... You gotta go up and around, basically. There actually is another path on the right side of town. Yeah, I, I, I sort of forgot yeah, where I was he going. he can't learn any of those. Nope, oh, that's level 4. I think you have to actually go around this set of trees. <laughs> I took the longest fucking route you took, possible. Yeah, you took the most circuitous <laughs> path possible. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Yeah, protect guy and shell guy. I know shell ra is a thing. I've seen that before. Um, Maybe you're thinking of she ra. No, shell ra's definitely been in a game or two. <laughs> I guess you can't learn those other ones. I 
Alas, poor knight. Alright, need to go up and to the right for level two. And then I'm going back to Gaia, which is on that way anyway. Yep. Although, actually, I think we already know. Um, we want to go get the Desert Caravan next. Ah, so. we're saving that ferry, are we? Yep. I don't even remember where the white magic shop is. I think it's up top. On the right side here. Yeah, yeah there, there we, we go. go. You know, Link. Ah, I can learn all of them. Okay. There we go. All right. Look, I have magic um, slots. I can't not fill the magic slots. So we need to go to a desert caravan. Uh, and if you look at your world map. Is it here? Nope. Okay. It's the other desert on the top left. Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. Weird, that. Where am I going in here? I think it's that it's a separate patch of desert. More tickers. I think it's kind well, of weird that like... class change doesn't actually change like your base stats. No, yeah, it's literally just growths, and like Bill will actually start gaining magic now. Wander into a forest for half a second, get ambushed by 20 tigers. <laughs> All the tigers. Slash, slash. God, Red Wizard looks so swish, though. <laughs> All right. Hey. I guess I'm buying Listen. it. Yep. Um, I think if you leave and come back, their stock will be different. Might also already be different, I'm not totally sure. Ooh, hello. Alright. I guess I have to go release that in the, uh, spring. Uh, go up. Go, go back. Go. Just, I said their inventory changes. Um, yeah, what, what about it? Oh, yeah, it did actually already change there. Yeah? Sorry, I was reading the guide. I didn't see. Um, so now you're not actually going to back to the, uh, thing. Alright, where are we going? Get on that, uh, river over there in your canoe. Okay. The airship can't go where we're going. Alright. Then make your way up. Uh, yeah, we're uploading all these streams to, to YouTube. Uh, Wally just, uh... What's the link for us? Thank you. Yep, that's us. I think us. the first two are up. Uh, Quite possibly. If not, they're scheduled to go no, up. No, the second one went up today. Uh, there's okay. been three previous, so the next one will be scheduled to go up at some point. Yep. If not, they're all on Vod on Twitch. Yeah, this game actually has the... Um, like, most JRPGs, you start off with the wolves in your town are so much weaker than the wolves literally everywhere else. <laughs> um, this game has wolves everywhere! Yeah, they're all like the same level. I mean, the first starting in the area is lower, but like, these enemies are the same enemies we fought yeah. literally all the way over on like, this side of the map. Yeah, basically around when you get to Ice Cavern, the enemies outside of dungeons plateau. Um... 
yeah, we are now in Waterfall Cavern. All right. And then going north until we can go west. And more bats that say "kiki" -key -key to us. <laughs> Wonder if two mummy kings get along when they're traveling together. Um, uh, they're a couple. <laughs> well, they could they be kings of queen, separate you know. mummy principalities. No, 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 they rule the same. They're, they're you know. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we didn't actually show off the Peninsula of Power that much. No, we didn't actually go there. We could explain how it works, but we were kind of like just. You can. Along I have no idea story. what it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is as far as I ever got in it. For one, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe I got further than this? I definitely got the class change, so I definitely got, like, the air I think you're going west from there, at that split. Yeah. There are a lot of mummies in this cave. Yeah, we just found a waterfall cave filled with mummies, which is a bit weird, because you'd think they'd have completely decomposed in this right? wet it environment. It seems like the, the worst environment, all that moisture everywhere. Yeah. The literal cave with no, puddles all over No, we didn't actually show it. off Monster Island on stream. We did go there off stream, but uh, yeah. we didn't actually show off giant kind of Monster about Island Breath of Fire 2. Oh, six is a pain in the ass. Sorry, uh, where keep we going? going to the left, I believe. So you continue along your current path until you reach a five-way intersection? What? Ooh. It's the guide letting us down again. <laughs> Ooh, these guys have haste. Ooh. Oh shit, Carl's Yeah, they do quite it. a bit of damage already. Yeah, Carl is gonna chunk it. So, uh, definitely make sure they did. Trying. Fire bad, okay. Magic bad, okay. <laughs> sword good. The sword is good. Everything else kind of sucked. Mm -hmm. Ice might be good against them. No, oh, Blizzard didn't do much damage. Oh. I mean, you know it's from her, but she tends to do half damage mm -hmm. compared to uh, Carl. So she right. still would have done like. She's like 30. So that would have only mm -hmm. been like 60. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, northwest ish. Oh, okay. Here's, ah, the, five -way here's the five way intersection. Alright. Northwest then. Until you get to another intersection. Bats, get my way. <laughs> nope, the bats kind of just bumped you into a mummy. I did, rather. No, I, I guess. I, I mean, I, there must be some debate um, on what exactly the best team for FF1 actually is. Kind of, yes. Um, most. Like, classes sort of have pluses and minuses, and I mean, Red Mage sort of falls off just because you can hyper-specialize with other stuff and just turn into a death machine in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. um, monks will eventually become the most powerful either. thing in existence. You can have, existence. like, four knights if you wanted. Yep. Uh, let's see... South, until we hit a doorway. I got ambushed. Oh my god, they hate Carl. <laughs> yeah, it's most distinctly not how acid works. <laughs> Doesn't heal clay. It's like the opposite of how I expect acid mm -hmm. to be. It's best. I mean, if it's cured, yeah, you can acid South. cure things, but still. Oh, hello, bunny. Ah, the dragon. 40 damage to Bill! Woo! That is a lot of damage for Bill. Mmm, that's more damage than Bill has taken in a long, long time. 
I'm not almost able to use level 7 spells I can't afford. Pyrolisk sounds metal as hell, I gotta say. Yeah, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's definitely a bad name. <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> You're looking right at me. The big thing about Red Mage is that there's sort of basically no payoff for it towards the late game. Like, you know, Final I'm, Fantasy V gave Red Mage his dual cast. Like, tier list, and like, Black Mage is usually right at the bottom. Mm hmm. Because magic damage falls off hard at the end, like it has it hits a hard cap compared to physical Basically, damage. Basically, yeah. Physical. So like the thing about physical damage is because like the way that combat works is that it's based on number of hits, and because of that, um, the the ceiling for number of hits that you can do is so much higher than you know Fine. casting flare. So people actually prefer red mage because they have the buffs. Ah, uh, I guess that sort of makes sense, yeah, that they, they can sort of do buffs. some damage, and they can still cast Haste and Temper, which and is kind of... And they get heal spells, and... Ooh, goodbye. Mm -hmm. It worked. Had to give it a shot. I didn't expect it to work, I was just like, oop, oop, hello. <laughs> uh, hello. This well, this is, is fun. This is a lot. This is a lot. Anyway, have a chat with the robot. It's not a boss. Just looking for someone to talk to. It's also why Ninja is pretty good, because Ninja can learn Temper and Haste and, yeah. you know, significantly speed up your ability to just buff your biggest damage dealers who also can include your Ninja. The Nightmare... He snorted at me. Blech. See, a lot of it just has to do with the game is not really balanced exactly. I have been waiting. Take this I love cube. Or cube. I am my way, buddy. Yep. I was hoping he didn't like fucking. That would be incredible if he was frozen place and you could never get that chest again. <laughs> A wizard staff. A wizard right. staff, which casts Confuse when used. <laughs> just I like just, wizard. Just yep. Yep. That was all we were here for. There's just a robot in a random cave in a waterfall. <laughs> so now you're going back to uh, your ship, and then you're flying over to that town that we passed on the canoe. That town right there. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, I guess you could actually just walk there if you want. I don't know where you can land your airship. I imagine you'll be walking no matter what you do. And... Riolu T1. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Get ambushed by trolls! <laughs> ambushed by trolls. Damn trolls. Good old ancient tech. I know the dungeon master needed to, to... spice it up a little. They have this cool book full of like robot creatures. <laughs> right, that they really can't fit use anywhere. In this setting, but they think they're really cool. Anyway, um. <laughs> I mean, go for it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Same, though. I also love having legs. Mm. 
No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's a mermaid who suddenly now has legs. Hmm. Church. Just a regular old church. Oh. Yeah, it looks like there's an ambulance that's a little bit stuck at that my intersection. After 200 I years, it Grace became a down. shithole. <laughs> yeah, still, still not level 33. <laughs> Um, yeah, my, they're, they're my legs. And... <laughs> weirdo. So these are the... Totally uh, normal these legs. These are the other level 7 spells. Yep. Yeah, and apparently of them, Hilaga is really the only one worth anything. Can't use it. Yep. Hey, dragon. I have... Amazing. I am awesome. You have some sick headgear now. Ancient tablets. Lufinian. Oh, not the Rosetta on, Stone. On, on. Yep, specifically the Rosetta Stone. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just want to read this line from the guide. That's all for the moment here. Just thought you might want to check out the town. Return to the overworld when you're done. <laughs> Yeah, I can't afford uh Hilaga currently. I can't can't use it. Can't purchase it. Can't I mean, make can't pre-purchase spells. Nope. So, are we back here once I reach level 33. Yep. Ramoras. 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 That green sword. Sick looking sword. So yeah, now you're going back to Gaia to, you know, like do the story thing or something. If you say so. Go north a little bit, then go west to find the other continent. Head to its northeastern corner to find a town enclosed in mountain. You know, Gaia. Alright. <coughs> oh god, the way that facts are written always fascinates me. And it's very 2000s. Mm hmm. You know it, you love it, Gaia. I think he has 12 MP now. Hooray! He can cast heal like four times. Well, cure. Definitely not heal. Heal, heal <laughs> takes time. You can cast heal 1.0, oh, well, 1.2 times. Happy. God, he's the man is poisoned. You're making him cure everyone. Can't unpoison himself. He couldn't learn poison. There it is. Hello. Yep, there we go. It is kind of weird just how much of the map you can't really access with, uh, with with the airship, you know? Yeah. Like, you still end up doing a lot of walking around when you get it, which is kind of cool. Yep. Oh. Yep. Well, see you later, I guess. <laughs> guess it was one square too far to the right. Yep. So yeah, you're going back to that spring. Yeah, sometimes these towns, like, where the boundaries are is, um... Not very well marked. Nebulous. You know, it's like, normally you get by by just seeing, like, you know, there's a fence over there, so clearly that's fine. But sometimes they use fences for other things, and sometimes there's just no fence. <laughs> yep. To cure the poison, you must be the poison. Become Hello. as poison. Let me just go grab you some ox yale. I love ox yale. I mean, that good ox yale stuff. 
We're just we're going back and forth now, aren't we? Yep. You know where we're headed. Yeah. Back to Onrak. I'm not really sure why the guide took us there in the first place. When we're just about to go there. Right. Seems legit. Just thought you might want to check it out, like two minutes before you actually have to go there. I was around how close I was to level 33, and I'm not very. Hmm. Anyway, you should be able to land closer to it. I don't know exactly where, though. Maybe I'm wrong, actually. Ah, well, it seems like not really. Eh? And instead, of, like, instead of like just going mer, and not in yon, it goes down. And yeah, well, you have to wait until you until the game slaps you on the wrist for it. Yeah, jeez. Um, yeah, it's no. Like you're pretty like... much parking over here. Yep. Oxyale, the finest university. <laughs> Begin by stocking up on high potions and ethers here. The sunken shrine can be a little trick. It can be a bit tricky on your own. Then, even with my FAQ, happy smiley face emoji, you'll have to deal with some annoying battles. Sorry, up carrot underscore up carrot. Ambushed by trolls again. My God, we all we keep getting ambushed by trolls here. We do. We have so many moderators. Yes, exactly, Gail Bloomer. Gail Boomer. That's the one. We used to do that smiley face all the time when we were teenagers. Constantly. Am I giving Grew this up on that corner of the internet. Uh. Southeastern corner, the lady oh, at the dock. I think she's a mermaid. Woo! It's actually making that kind of noise. Woo! So we should make Ragni a moderator. Why haven't we done that yet? I feel like when we were, like, doing that at any given time, she just wasn't around in chat. Ooh, fancy. Woo! So, uh, yeah, this is actually the dungeon for the water crystal. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna have level, uh, seven spells to deal with it, but let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> this is fine. I'll hopefully get the money to buy all the level seven spells when I get out. Yep. This is some very chill music, I like. Ah, Yay! well. This is where the Yay! white sharks live. He's also very smug and smiley. Look at him. Let's see. In case you can't tell, you are going to get richer than you have thus far in this dungeon. <laughs> that's the very first line about this. Oh, that's because the treasure checklist is, um... Large? It's full. Mm. Over a hundred thousand? Mm. Alright, where am I going? Uh, let us see. Go north, past a few pillars, and then east to find a doorway. We're going north? And weast. Whoa! Damn. Okay, okay, so there are princes and chiefs? Right, the the chiefs all answer to the prince. Seems a little strange. Hail to the prince. Smacky, smacky. Smack, smack. I just love the sound of the hammer, mate. Boof, boof. It's very good. Um, and then we're going back to the west. <coughs> Are we continuing west? Still west, yeah. All the west. Sea trolls! 
I can't believe this. Trolls oh. by land and trolls Gah, by sea. Sea trolls. The worst kind of troll. I feel like every time we find a troll, we're gonna say that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh, helicopter trolls! The worst kind of troll! Yeah, that's the Hagen Galactic Ultra Empire. Emperor. Mm hmm. Right. Spiced must say flow. Carl's basically just gonna be our Pikachu for this dungeon. Hell yeah. I don't even know if Thunder is, like, more of God a... knows. I can't tell anything in this game as far as, there like, really effectiveness There really is no goes. indication of, like, It's basically just you have to notice that a spell does more damage, you know? Ah, right. I do remember that water knocker. And also water elementals. They're just tornadoes. That's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, why not? Land trolls, sea trolls, sky trolls, space, space trolls, trolls, void trolls, abyss trolls. God, that's a lot for just one chest. Yep. Um, and then we go eastward, back to the pillars, which, yeah, basically I guess this whole thing kind of wraps around itself. Let's cast that thunder. 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 So many trolls in this dungeon. Yep. Oh, wait, did I drop some frames there? I don't know, did you? Oh, apparently. Yeah, it looks like it. Um... No, hopefully it's just a little blip. Yeah, put eye on it. So you're going east from here. It'll put you east over here, I guess. You get back to the uh, pillars. Yep, there's pillars. And then continue east to find a fork. Go north. And then up that staircase. Um, okay, so it south. doesn't seem like it's dropped any more frames. All right, fingers crossed. Mm. Yeah, it could just be a little bit all the way south. Um, and then... Two Sahagan princes. princesses. You think Sahagan princes albums are as good as our princes albums? Nah. Probably not. They look like they have weird throats. Probably sounds good to them though. Yeah, I mean they probably have their own style of music. True. Yeah, yeah it doesn't seem like I've dropped any more frames. It must have just been a, an internet blip. Yep. Especially since I'm on the wifi. Carl looks like he's taking a little bit of damage. Carl got a little bit chunked. Carl, always taking damage. It's fine, Bill. Bill has... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> God bless you, Bill. <laughs> Alright, all, all the way south? Okay. West from here, you'll bump into a wall. And then ah, there are ghosts! Counterclockwise. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I'm not really sure I think of these as ghosts, really. They're ghosts, ah. Ooh, I'm a spooky ghost. I can't imagine this thing telling you that it's a spooky ghost, though. Pretty easily, in fact. Mm -hmm. Look, Bill's got three MP and Jane's got three MP. Nice. Hey, Bird Teeth! Bird teeth. Thank, Thank you! Thank you for the resub. Beans and ghosts. The only things we're good at. Where am I going at this interesting? Here's to half a year uh, of beans and ghosts. So it just says, south all the way, then west. You'll soon bump into a wall. I guess I'm at a wall. Circle around and counterclockwise to find a doorway. Yeah, this is 
bunch of guys in Halloween outfits. I mean, they did give their Sahagan six packs, it sort of looks like. Mm -hmm. Which would definitely be a very costumey thing to do. Okay, so Jade can get level seven spells, so Carl will be able to soon. Yep. There's just so many encounters, oh my god. Yeah, seems about right. Yeah, the PSP version really did seem to like lower the encounter rate inside dungeons. Mm -hmm. Until this one. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly we're just getting everything. Oh, oh, okay, so it was in like a little nook and cranny. Mm -hmm. Now I get it, I guess. Higgins are just buff, yeah. Buff. You do end up with quite a lot of MP quite early in this game. Yeah, it seems like most of the magic classes have fairly robust growths. Yep. <laughs> so, congrats on your 20 gil. Leave and go northwest. That was worth it. Oh, definitely. Aww. Hi, I'm Shark, and Shark. here's my friend, I'm White Shark. Shark. Although he's actually more purple. Yeah, really, I'm not sure I see the white. It's another blue-eyes white dragon kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Six, 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 kill, ah! Oh my goodness, this encounter rate is insane. Ah, yes. The Cobras of the Sea. Sea snakes. Sea snakes are a thing. Sea Cobras. Yeah, suddenly it's Shark Week, uh, northeast. So I guess up this path over here. Ooh. And the door with diamond armor, which should be quite nice for us. Super shuffle my question. Um... Oh, the eels. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> right, where are we going now? Uh, back to the doorway with the 20 gill, and then southwest from there. Alright. Yeah, as you get further in this game, a lot of battles are going to turn into slash, and uh, slash, and uh, slash. I guess it yes. goes this way? I probably we'll find out together. <laughs> Once we get through these. Oh, the very many encounters. Yep. Oh, the encounters you'll encounter. Mm -hmm. We are at six o'clock, so I guess we'll see if we can find a good stopping point. I think it looks there like is... you actually leave and come back in this dungeon from the guide. Ah, yes. So yeah, it looks like you find that. an item here, so let's do it like that, yeah. Although I'm probably still going to be a decent chunk of time. Yeah, we'll see how long it takes. I mean, there's not a boss fight at the end of it, but... Seems like boss fights in this game don't tend to take much time anyway. No. A lot of them mean like more like mini boss fights than boss fights. Yeah. Tough. The poor white mage doing nothing on the hammer. Um, so probably you can go west axe. from here. Yeah, light Doesn't treason. Love light axes. Ooh, Diara, nice. See, I guess you could just use that to cast Diara instead of having to, or at least with Bill to make Bill cast Diara. So it says go west from the what from the axe to find a room with a mage's staff. I'm not really sure how west works there. There didn't really seem to be a west. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. I'm not sure what west it's talking about. I'll, I'll go back, but... Hmm. After we fight our way through about 30 more Sahagans. Mm -hmm. 
Alien Sprites just take so long because there's so many of them taking a yeah, swipe Yeah, attacking at me. you. Yeah. And there's no way to go first, so... Nope. Well, they all got in first. Yep. Well, that is sort of like the default way that it works, and because of the way the random swapping works, sometimes that'll just happen. Maybe up and then west? I don't, I don't know. Because it's like, eventually it says return to the light axe room and go east. <laughs> so like, clearly it's not just mixing its directions up. It's very strange. Like maybe it's above the room? I, I don't know. I was actually kind of hoping that this was the mage's staff and that we just took a slightly different path. Yeah. So we would be able to calibrate from there, but that was the light axe, yeah. Yep. I'll have a look at the room, but I don't think there was any west in the room. Maybe it's above the room? No, we pretty much went down this way. Yeah, this is where we came from, yeah. Who knows? Let's just continue. Let's go east. The mystery mage staff will never, uh, that we'll never be able to find. The world may never know about we that will mage never staff. Know. It'll just be waterlogged for all time. I think the good news is that the next floor has no enemy encounters. God bless. You can go through the rooms to speak with some mermaids if you like, but I'm just here for the treasures. That's fair. <laughs> biff, biff. God bless GameFAQs. Mm hmm Sorry, GameFAQs.GameSpot.com. Mm -hmm. GameFAQs.GameSpot.GameSpy.GameScore.Metacritic.Biz. <laughs> Not for you, some cheat CC. <laughs> Maybe one of these paths has it, and the other one doesn't. That's the we'll fucking mage staff, one. I swear. See what is in It'll this. either be the staff or gold, I guess. Yep. I kind of hope it's the staff, because then we know the other way is gold. Yep. <laughs> God uh, bless. Alright. So I guess they did switch. East and West. Ah, or maybe they meant for you to get the Mage Staff first? Because, like, if if that had said Mage Staff, then the instructions would have made sense, you know? I know, I think they just got it wrong, because you go East to get that one, and then you go back West towards the room and come down and get this one. So they just... Yeah, they, they, they just, just mixed up East and West. As tends to happen. This should have no encounters in it. Yeah, just mermaids and treasure. Diamond armlet. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> well, okay then. Alright. Bill is loving it down here already. <laughs> oh, I see foam. Yeah, that's the that's mermaid thing. Could take yep. it out the Disney version. Yep. She got legs, oh. and is now living the fucking life. <laughs> Obtained legs. Yeah, how can we breathe underwater? Axiel. Oh, is that what the Oxiel did? Yes, that, that was, that's its whole existence. A strange liquid that gushes forth air. I'm not really sure about, like, either of those things, but you know what? <laughs> I won't question it. If you, if you can put it the way hand, thank you. Never. Uh, ah! <laughs> she <laughs> really likes it there. Oh. Ha! <laughs> hand, please! Please, <laughs> get out of the doorway! We oh. have a stream to end. <laughs> oh no.
she oh just gosh, picked you down. Be you, stuck. You, you can't. No, you you just have to wait for her, unfortunately. And now just walk into her until she moves. Oh, I didn't want to walk into her and like make her move. <laughs> oh. Body blocked by a mermaid. Oh, so it's funny when you open one door, like she was all. Of them. Yep. Yeah, hot layer technology. Now head to the north to the northwesternmost room to find a small path going north and west nearby. Take it to reach the northeasternmost room. Big O underscore little O. That one's my favorite face from back in the day. Yeah, that was a face we used a lot. Ah, oh, good, that would help. Ooh. Loon is keeping that face li alive and well, at least. Although Twitch auto, uh, auto hits it, <laughs> auto converts it to one of its own emotes that is not nearly as good as the original. You may have had another dip, I'm just looking over at the, uh, stream thing. I have thing. an armlet. Oh, keep on Carl, he seems to fucking bite it. <laughs> yeah, he, he's the one without any health. <laughs> Colon V is also quite good. I once did an entire Let's Play with something awful user colon V without actually realizing that his name was actually just that face. <laughs> okay, so I have to go to the northwest. Yes. Make your way over, I guess, to the most northwest that you can manage. Just double checking all the rooms. Yep. Yeah, I think it's over I that way. I think I didn't go up that way. Yeah. God, there's so many rooms! Mm -hmm. Fucking diamond gloves and diamond helms and... Rosetta geez. Stone. There we go. That was the one we actually needed. Yep. And that is actually the end of this bit, so... Yeah, just gonna... And then exit. And yeah, that's something awful colon V emote is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> uh... So just rest at the end? Yep, and you'll finish up. And all then right. we'll have more adventures with definitely all four of these people. And not anyone else at any point. Mm-hmm. So that'll be Thursday. Yep. Since we, we swapped, yeah. uh... Because I was still at my parents, we couldn't play this. So and we Of course, swapped. maybe I'll be snowed in on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. But you can stream can from play. there. Yep. I can't stream from my parents, so... Yep. Do an ESA on Sunday instead of Thursday, so it'll be more Final Fantasy 1 on God, I Thursday. love that there's just a random dragon chilling over there. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably he tells you about Bahamut. Yeah. Yeah, the game has, like, so many random hints peppered all over because there isn't really a critical path at all. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so yeah, Thursday more FF1. Tomorrow will be point and click Wednesday. Uh, but... Yep. Or Sam and Max season two. Sam and or Max. Or maybe a morning stream tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Yep. How I feel. Yep. Thanks everyone for coming and, and thanks for the, the subs. Thank you for subs and bits and all that good stuff yep. and follows. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye everyone.